hey everybody good morning and welcome back to the channel so today I'm in the kitchen I'm gonna prepare some cabbage and shrimp white belly shrimp Shiv did not go to school today because he have school tour it's a beautiful Monday morning and Shiv dad don't want him to go to school because he said without the parents there he don't know if people gonna watch his kids kid right so there's a reason why um shave that don't want him to go to the school tour so today we're gonna cook some cabbage and shrimps my mom just helped me peel the shrimps so i'm gonna cook the cabbage my rice is on here as you see i put on the rice there so this is the rice on here in the meanwhile the rice is boiling i'm going to prepare the um the seasoning for the cabbage and shrimp white belly shrimp fresh white belly shrimp this is a shrimp here i throw some salt inside yeah i throw some salt in the shrimps i'm gonna add some lemon juice now and this is our cabbage i'm gonna wash this and i'm gonna strain out the water so this is one big cabbage right so um i'm gonna get my seasoning um get up my seasoning my tomato shallowed celery garlic and onion and set up it for fry up this so let me guys show you what's going on here so i'm going to show you how i fry it up This lime barely got juice, man. So guys, I already washed the shrimp. I washed it out with lemon juice and salt. I have my um, cabbage chip already. I wash it and I strain out the water. I also have my seasoning put together here. I have onion, shallot, celery, grind garlic, some pepper and tomato. I'm gonna fry up it with and I have some potato here I'm gonna put in this two potato and then chip it and put it in and I'm gonna add a carrot also so this is my cabbage my shrimp and my seasoning I have my pot on here hotting and I'm gonna lay it hot and let the water burn out because I just rinse it I'm gonna add some oil for fry up the shrimp so what I do I fry up my shrimps first take it out and then fry up my seasoning <coughs> and this one here you gotta come out of the kitchen you know madam come chef you want it? chef call she go 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 run 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 brother come run mama run run run, run. hello Sorry. hello Sorry. So guys, I'm going to add a bit of salt in the shrimps before I fry it up. I'm going to add some salt in the shrimps before I fry it up. So guys, the pot is hot and I'm going to add oil. This will fry up my shrimp. So guys, I think the oil is hot. So let me throw in the shrimp and see what's going on. I think it's hot. What? I am thinking hot and hot. I think it's hot. It's hot fast. No, they are hot fast. So I'm adding all the little ones that are hot in the boat. And we're going to turn this up. We're going to lose our rank water. We're going to let it fry out. For me to hold this camera and turn this pot is very hard, but I'm trying, right? Excuse which angle it at. Sorry. I'm gonna let this lose all the rank water, and then when it fry out all the rank water, we're gonna take it out and put it in a bowl, and we're gonna fry up our seasoning for the cabbage.
in the meanwhile the cabbage is um the shrimp is frying up i'm chipping up some potato for the cabbage so i'm gonna add these potato in the cabbage also So guys, you know when the shrimp done. You hear it keeping a nice, a poppy noise. So the shrimp already fried up here. We don't want it more brown than this. So I'm gonna take it out in a bowl now. So guys, I'm gonna use the same oil I used to fry up the shrimps and fry up the seasoning with it. So I'm gonna add in all my fresh seasoning and fry it up. <laughs> And this is the shrimp, how it's looking. So guys, I have the seasoning here already prepared. So I have some adobo seasoning, salt, chicken maggi cube. This is the tomato flavor. I have some paprika and some MSG here. But the salt is not enough. But I'm gonna, as I cook, I'm gonna taste to see if it have salt. Cause remember, we already fry up the shrimp with salt. So I don't wanna put too much salt, right? And this is the cabbage here. I have some um I have some potato also and I have carrot. I'm gonna put um some carrot inside also. So we're gonna put in some carrot and potato inside and cabbage, the seasoning, and we're gonna add in the cabbage now. Remember you're not adding um water in this cabbage because it loses water, right? Mm -hmm. So we're not going to add water in it. So we're going to spin it up with the seasoning. My mom going to give me a hand so I can video why she's turning it up. Use a spoon. We're gonna add the seasoning in the meat also so she can um, turn up with everything. Okay. The the chicken um cube, the tomato one gonna change the color for the cabbage. You're gonna give it like a little reddish color. They are steam now. When it's steam now, hold it on the top. We're gonna let it steam. And when it's steam down, we're gonna turn it up more. So I'm gonna add a coffee for the pot and let it steam. So we're gonna let it steam down and then we're gonna make a final spin and it's gonna lose some water. So guys, this is how the cabbage is looking. It it dry down guys it did not lose the water that I expected it to so I'm gonna add some water to boil the cabbage because it did not lose much water as we see so we're gonna add some water to it because we need it to boil right not add plenty that's a little good this is gonna do we're gonna let the water boil the cabbage and we're gonna add in our tomato I'm um, sorry 
or potato and carrot also. We so guys, we add the carrot and we're gonna add a potato also. So we have the carrot and potato and we're gonna spin up everything here. And we're gonna cover it back and lay it by, all right? This cabbage, apparently me you know what happened, but you know lose water that I expect. Some cabbages lose a lot of water, but I don't know what happened to this one. So this is how it's looking. We lay it by up and then we're gonna cover oh cover it up. Oh we're gonna let this um cover and cook and then we're gonna add in our shrimp when it done boil up. So guys, this is how the cabbage is looking. It it finished, I throw in the shrimps when it's done. So guys, I'm sorry I didn't get the chance to um, show you guys how I finish up the cabbage. The reason why I have to go over to Georgetown, to courts, because remember I told you guys they delay in my delivery and they have an issue like apparently all the chairs are out of stock. So I have to go pick a next one. So I have to go over to Georgetown, but I'm going to show you like a little short clips and video of Georgetown. Big wave there, yeah. <laughs> to me. <laughs> it's scary, right? Uh huh. Oh my God. Oh my God. Dangerous, right? Oh my god. Check out these waves, there, Mike. Scary. Mm. Ship going with one speed, though.
Chala Land. Guys, I already deal with courts and I'm heading to to cool office to go. So they said they're gonna come pick up the damage here and they're gonna bring a new one. But I've been waiting um, almost two weeks now, so they have me back and forth, back and forth. So hopefully it de deliver um, by tomorrow. Hopefully, if not, um, I'm gonna take a refund and buy something else with the money because they have me back and forth and and I, I have all this stupidness with the people and it's the god so I'm gonna head to the cool office and head home I'm with the big boss himself to cool he picked me well I had to go at his office and we're heading home now so we're gonna go get some fruits and vegetables at the thing before we head home so I resolved my problem with courts so far they said they're gonna do the delivery tomorrow hopefully we get the chair that we paid for and everything resolved let's see what's going on though me not like me in here but then people they say hot up my head what do you think that? No, I'm buying the vehicle from Mr. Loco. It's a nice surf and he got them in good condition. You know what I'm thinking, Nana? What about your car flakes? Oh my god. You sure car and flakes? Or some? Yeah, car and flakes. Frosted car. So guys, over there is Guyana De Defense Force. As you can see in the compound, it has some people are training over there. You can add video or go close to the, the fence or catch fish or anything. I have a couple feet away, a lot of feet away, so. 
So guys, we arrived and I'm going to buy some fruits. I have blueberries and some yeah, red berries. So, it's a lovely apple here. I'm going to buy some apple. For 100 and 120. Mm -hmm. A nice potato here. Tomato, eight hundred and forty. I said the best buy this, and then you get proper tomato. You know, you say support local, but compare local put uh, uh, you got to not support local. Hey, this nice, you know. This when you, when you do your steam drinks. You remember you had a plant like this? No, but this is not that. That butter beans in. No. This is string beans. There's this snow peas. Yeah, but I just call it string beans. See? This way you steam like you do broccoli. Yeah. I steam Buy it. some six hundred dollar parcel. You want it? Yeah. And yeah. buy a parcel you know, of the Brussels sprout. Make her eat this thing, Cliffy. Mm -hmm. Nikki Nikki do it. And this thing eats real nice by like really chili. Buy some broccoli. Mm -hmm. You know you go frozen. <laughs> huh? <And> frozen. <laughs> I'm gonna froze them. <laughs> <laughs> it's not pak choy, no, there's lettuce. This one. No, man, this one pak choy. What kind of pak choy is that? So, guys, as soon as we come out to the fruits place, this is what we are facing. Check out this weather by. You can barely see on this road here. It's rain day. Rain born day. I don't know why they left the lane and then they got moving back. I don't know who the line of the drive. So guys, we're back in the traffic. This is every day thing in Guyana, every, every day, every afternoon and morning. You see how you're bad? You break so far, knock my head in the front of this bus, right? You pick your trouble, you know, when I pick one. Yeah. <laughs> you want to put my head on the dashboard. The last thing I can do for you drive me, unless I'm drunk. That's the only way you drive me. So I don't care how you drive away, do. You don't want me for a ride. No, you can't drive me. And then when you drink, you tell me, come drive, come drive. And I even remember when me you I drive. You can't drive me, drink. When I drink, sorry. Hee hee hee. Container truck life. You get to couple holes of the traffic now, buddy. Oh. The man just got walking in the night. See, them said like this important. So, if you turn in out night time, they um the upcoming traffic can see the side of the truck that there's a side of the truck mm -hmm. somebody get in good you never know we tv in this one here going to west side <laughs> you know west coast how you know them don't really take container truck over the bridge it's too expensive to do it oh yeah that's the next thing yes you do trucking trucking for sure we never see container go one over the bridge one one 